So here is Nikon's P950, the upgrade from their ever popular P900. What's it got inside it? Well, it's got a 16 megapixel back illuminated CMOS sensor and an X bead processor. But what is it that makes these cameras just so special? This! Landed it. This amazing machine has got an 83 times optical zoom. That's the equivalent of a 24 to 2000 mil zoom lens. It's also got an ED element to prevent distortion when zooming in and an optical image stabilizer. And it's all packaged in this neat little body. So who's it aimed at? Well, wildlife photographers love this camera. People who shoot the moon particularly love this camera. That is a cracking moon. And actually, people who shoot anything in the sky love this camera. But what else can it do? Today, I'm gonna to take it through its paces and find out just what we can do with the P950. So I wanted to try out the autofocus system on the P950 to see how quickly it will focus when using the zoom. Now what's better to try it on than squirrels? Because they're quite jittery, they, <laughs> they do tend to be harder to focus on. So I have a squirrel in front of me in the dappled sunshine by the tree, so I'm zooming in on it now and using the image stabilizer. <laughs> we also have a squirrel that's very close to me. <laughs> Two squirrels. Not them, I'm photographing a different squirrel that's very far away. And using the zoom, I'm able to zoom right in to see his little face, as well as using that specific autofocus, which is very reactive and allowing me to snap these pictures perfectly when they strike a little pose. The nice thing about using the P950 above perhaps some of the other bridge cameras I've encountered is that the new optical image stabiliser in the, the 950 is just keeping me steady no matter what. I, I'm being able to manipulate the zoom with my thumb on the left of the lens, which gives me a stability with the way I'm holding the camera anyway. But when I pair that with the image stabilisation, it's really making a difference and allowing me to steady the shot ah, to get photos of my little squirrel friends. So even at full zoom, the new stabiliser in here is absolutely amazing because when I'm using the full zoom, <laughs> it's allowing me to really steady my shot. We also did a little bit of footage of the squirrels and even at 2000 mil handheld, I was able to just follow the squirrel as it's moving because that image stabilizer was so quick and so reactive. So really impressed with it, particularly for video as well. See, that is why I love this camera. It just gave me so much detail in the unicorn on this building behind me that I just wouldn't have seen any other way. Unless a helicopter took me up there for me to have a look, there's no way I would have seen it. So it just goes to show that it's not just for wildlife photography, bird photography, the moon. It can be used in all kinds of scenarios. If you're on a city break and you want to zoom in on the top of a church or if you want to see some brickwork detail, it's perfect for that. If you're out at the beach with the family and you want to zoom in on the kids that are playing in the surf, it's perfect for that. It will literally do so many different types of photography. It's incredible.
further, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you can stay up to date with all our latest content. Probably the biggest upgrade of the 950 over the 900 is the video functionality. So the camera now has a microphone input. It will record 4K at 30p and 1080 at 60p. Just put the camera into bird watching mode, which is a specific mode for bird photography, which of course the P950 is perfect for. What this will allow me to do is change a bunch of options so that I can get the most out of my bird photography. The first of which is a focal length selector. So when I press the OK button, I can deliberately zoom in or indeed out to a length of my choice. The second thing is whether I take singular pictures or do a continuous burst. And the third one is the size of my AF area, because for bigger birds, you'd want a larger area. And for the smaller birds, you might want a smaller area. So what I'm going to do is take some pictures of some of the birds we've got on the harbour here and see how this works out for me. So I'm really noticing a difference when using the viewfinder in the 950 compared to the 900. And that's because the resolution of the viewfinder is now over double that of the 900 with a 2,359,000 dot OLED. On top of that, they've increased the size of the screen to a 3.2 inch LCD screen, which makes looking at my pictures back that much easier. It's got this wonderful little wheel on the side, which will allow me to change my exposure compensation when photographing, or if I've got it in manual focus, it will allow me to manually focus there too. Of course, we've still got the zoom on the side using the thumb so you can really get a grip of the camera to keep yourself steady. And you've got the instant zoom in out button, which has always been a hit on the P900, P950 series. So the Nikon P900 and the P1000 cameras were notorious for just how good they were at capturing pictures of the moon. The P950 is no exception to this. I've just zoomed in all the way to 2000 mil and was able to get a photograph handheld of the moon, including all the craters and the detail. What I'm gonna do next is pop it on a tripod and try it again, just to see how much clearer I can get it when I've got that extra little bit of stability. So I've put the camera in its dedicated moon mode for this next shot. And what that means is that the focusing gets switched to infinity. So everything past a certain point is then pin sharp. It also adds a three second self timer because when you press the shutter button, you don't want that wobble that you get from instantly pressing it to interrupt your photo. So that just gives you a couple of seconds to get the picture that you want. It also has that lovely OK button option that bird mode had. So when you press the OK button, it will instantly zoom in to a focal length of your choice. I've chosen a thousand mil for this one because I know the moon's going to be very far away and it will just instantly zoom in at that level. So if I press that now, this tiny speck on the screen is going to get much bigger. There it is. So what I'm going to do is, as you can see, the exposure is all completed by the camera. Excellent. Saves you faffing, saves you having to worry about what you would do in manual mode because it does everything for you. Um, what I would suggest actually is that this this moon is, is kind of bright. Uh, it confuses all cameras. The moon is a nightmare for that. So if I just hit this lovely little wheel that I was talking about earlier about the exposure compensation and drop it down just one stop, if I take another now, all that detail comes back in, all the detail on the craters, and it just gets rid of some of that brightness that you get notoriously when you photograph the moon. So actually really impressed. In fact, let's, let's zoom in a touch more. Let's go, what are we at? 12, let's go to 12, 2000. Yeah. Look at this. Ha ha. It makes it so easy to get great pictures of the moon. I, I'm actually very impressed. <laughs> Safe to 
say that the P950 really does pack a punch when it comes to zoom, but it's also really good as your everyday camera too. If you want to get your hands on one, then why not pop into one of your local Jessup stores or visit us at jessups.com. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you again soon.